Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. From the driver's perspective, the view is extremely limited in a Formula One car. And the position, it's really as if you were lying down in the racing car. And uh, you can hardly see anything except the two front tires and something that is quite far away. So if it's like 20 meters in front of you, you couldn't even see it. His vision is his primary uh, feedback from what's going on around him. It's crucial that he can see as much as possible uh, of what's ahead of him on the road. Um, yet he has this very small window to look out of. It's a very well developed uh, system in which the visors are tinted for different light situations. Dark in Singapore with the, with the bright uh, artificial lighting is very different from a bright day in Brazil. We can see a little bit left and right sometimes. So what we do going down the straight is we look out on the left to see if we can see some sort of billboards or anything as such that will give us an indication of where we are on the track and makes, allows us to understand when might our breaking point arrive. So it's, uh, it's very, very difficult. The only help we have in such a situation is tear-offs um, on our helmets. And because if, if everything becomes extremely dirty, you hardly can see anything. So I can pull it off and then I have clear visibility again for a few laps and then I need to pull the next one off. And I just hope that I have enough of them on until the end of the race. When it rains, when it's sunny, when it's darker, we have to be changing visors and uh, tear-offs to give them the opportunity to clear their visor when it gets wet and uh, covered in mud. Uh, all these scenarios which effectively lead the driver to give him the best possible vision of what's ahead of him. That's all he desires, is to see what's ahead of him at all times in as clear a vision as possible. And uh, that allows him to make the best judgments he possibly can. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.